our, our motto is uh, water from air isn't magic, it's science. And that's really what we're doing. With these machines, we're basically dehumidifying the air. And in doing such, uh, we're having, a, we can create water that can be drank, it's filtered out. So what we started out with was a unit uh, that we could actually send over to uh, emergency zones like hurricane victims and stuff, uh, as well as military. So we looked at the larger scale units, a lot of power, weren't really concerned about the input cost, just needed water for emergency. Then we begin to realize that there's a lot of need out there, but it's not continuous. It, it's on again, off again. So we kind of backed off uh, the research and we came down to something, instead of making massive amounts of water, something that made more efficient water. So we thought, well, hey, this would be great at, at least to, to water our garden. And then uh, we started looking at the quantity of water it produces. and it, Actually, you know, the unit that we bought is um, more than ample for all of our wa fresh water needs. Even now, this m machine will produce water for a lot less than you can buy bottled water at Costco for. And uh, I believe as, uh, as uh, time goes on and uh, the price of fresh water through our utilities goes up, I think it's gonna more than pay for itself. I don't feel guilty now about rinsing them off. We're looking forward to a time when large units like this are used by municipalities to augment uh, water supplies in the state. Yeah, I would say for a residential use, like a household that's really off the grid, those are great solutions because it often takes millions to connect those households to you know, electricity or a water supply. But um, for the amounts of water that we need here in California, I don't think it's feasible to use such technology. We really actually need to curb climate warming to really make a difference again.